And now in Zamfara, the state government has blamed the recent attack on communities and abduction of persons on the failure of security operatives to respond to, to, respond to distress calls. However, successes have been recorded in the fight against banditry as 887 din guns, 203 sophisticated weapons, 2,566 pieces of live ammunition have been handed over to the government by repentant bandits. Over 2,000 kidnapped victims were released by the abductors without ransom through the state government's peace and dialogue initiative with bandits. This report contains flash photography and viewers' discretion is advised. Theophilos Darofai reports. Zamfara State used to be the epic center of banditry, kidnapping for ransom, cattle rustling and farmers' headers clash. Increasing attacks on communities prompted the Motoli government to introduce a peace and reconciliation initiative with bandits with a view to ending the menace. Now the narrative is changing. The state government is pleased at the gradual return of peace to some of the troubled areas as a result of engaging with some of the repentant bandits. The State Commissioner for Security Affairs, Abuka Doran, says the state has so far recovered numerous sophisticated weapons and life ammunition from the repentant bandits. Kidnapped victims were also released without ransom through the peace initiative and assistance by some repentant bandits. This giant initiative of common approach to address the insecurity situation in the state has yielded a positive result that includes the voluntarily surrender about 203 sophisticated firearms, 2,566 uh, 2, live ammunition, 64 magazines and two numbers handcuffs, as well as 887 locally fabricated dungeon from repented bandit and NSAK. While commending efforts of security agencies in that regard, the state government wants them to do more in responding to distress calls. Mr. Doran blames the recent attacks on communities and abduction of persons in the failure of some security operatives to promptly respond to distress calls and avert attacks. The police are sure of its commitment to eradicating the activities of criminal elements in the state. In the last few days, there is resurgence of armed banditry in the state, which necessitated the state government to call for more proactive measures from the part of the security agency operating in the state. In the command will not rest on its own uh, until the lasting peace uh, has been restored in the state. And that will be true kinetic and non-kinetic uh, action. Despite efforts by governments at all levels and security agencies to contain the menace of insecurity in Zamfara, some communities still suffer attacks abduction of persons and destruction of valuable properties. Safe Les Darufay, TVC News, Gusau.